The PlayStation Portal is unbelievably sold out everywhere. Is it really a must have accessory for your PlayStation 5 or is it another gadget that will be collecting dust? So let's check out the top pros and cons to help you decide if this unique device is worth the investment. Kicking off our list is the stunning 1080p LCD screen. It's big, it's bright and it's vibrant, giving that visual wow factor that really makes your games pop. There's no squinting at tiny mobile phone screens here. The portal is here to give you an awesome immersive gaming experience on its 8 inch screen. Ever wished you could dive into your PlayStation 5 games from the other side of the world? Well, the PlayStation Portal's got your back, as long as your internet connection is up to the task. That means 5 megabytes per second minimum, recommended 15 megabytes. Then you can remotely wake up your PlayStation 5 and jump into your games wherever you are. Sharing is caring, right? With the portal, you can play your PlayStation 5 games while someone else occupies the TV. No more fighting for screen time, it's a win-win. That means your wife or husband can be sitting watching TV while you're playing your PlayStation 5 games on your portal. The design of the portal was a bit divisive on launch, but now that people have the device in their hands, there's probably nothing better than slicing a DualSense in half with a nice screen in the middle. This is way comfier than using a mobile phone or some other handheld devices, which can get a bit uncomfortable during long gaming sessions. This allows you to feel the game like never before with haptic feedback and all the amazing DualSense controls we know and love. The triggers provide that extra level of immersion, making every game session a tactile delight. And the crown jewel of the portal, after all, is what it was made for, a solid PlayStation 5 remote play experience. It's not just a gimmick, it's a handheld extension of your PlayStation 5 console, letting you enjoy your favourite titles on the go, or even just chilling in your house. I can imagine a lot of people here with kids, who are always wanting to use the TV, getting a lot of joy out of the portal by letting the kids watch their TV. TV programs whilst you sit and play Spider-Man on your PlayStation Portal. Now it's not all sunshine and rainbows, so let's start off the cons list with the big one here for me, which is a lack of Bluetooth support. Sorry folks, no pairing your favourite Bluetooth headphones with the Portal. It looks like we're stuck with a wired connection here via the 3.5mm headphone jack or PlayStation Portal Link earbuds and earphones, which are very, very expensive. With the earbuds costing the same price as the PlayStation Portal itself, which is a bit crazy. Now the Portal was designed for one thing and one thing only so far, and that is PlayStation 5 Remote Play, which makes it a one trick pony. If you're expecting more versatility, you might be in for a letdown, but this may change in the future, which we will discuss in our last item on this video. Now one big letdown is you cannot join the portal party without a PlayStation 5 console. If you're still rocking an older PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Pro, or you're eyeing the portal as your first gaming device, you might need to reconsider and pick up a PlayStation 5 instead, or go for something else like a Nintendo Switch or a Steam Deck. There's no streaming videos. By that I mean no Netflix and chill with your PlayStation Portal. It's all about gaming, so no movie nights or binge watching your favourite TV shows here, which is a real shame, as it would be really cool even to watch some YouTube videos on the device's awesome screen when chilling out. Now hold up cloud gamers, this is a big one. The Portal won't let you dive into PlayStation Plus's cloud gaming, which is a nice perk included with PlayStation Plus Premium. It's a head scratcher and a missed opportunity for sure, but I think we will definitely see this included in the system in the future, going by some new information from one of Sony's senior vice presidents.
residence. So the device won't be a one-trick pony no more. Wondering what this information is? Well, check out my 24-hour review of the portal to find out more.